Have you ever wondered what happens when NBA players completely disregard their coaches? In this video, we'll explore some of the top times when NBA players didn't listen to their coaches, from Kobe Bryant to LeBron James and Rayshon Rondo. Get ready to witness some of the most controversial moments in NBA history. Number eight, Kobe Bryant versus Phil Jackson. Kobe Bryant was one of the most talented and driven players in NBA history, but he was also known for his occasional clashes with coaches. I call him Yoda. In 2003, during a playoff game against the Sacramento Kings, Bryant famously ignored head coach Phil Jackson's instructions and took it upon himself to shoot the game-winning shot. Jackson had called for a play for Shaquille O'Neal, but Bryant, who had been hot all game, decided to take matters into his own hands. The shot went in and the Lakers won the game, but Jackson wasn't pleased with Bryant's decision. After the game, Jackson called out Bryant in the media, saying that he had made a selfish play and that he needed to learn to trust his teammates. Bryant, for his part, defended his decision, saying that he felt he had the hot hand and that he wanted to take the shot. The incident highlighted a larger issue in Bryant's relationship with Jackson. The two men had a complex dynamic, with Bryant often chafing under Jackson's then-inspired coaching style. Bryant was a fierce competitor who wanted to win at all costs, while Jackson was more focused on creating a team culture based on trust and collaboration. Their clash in the 2003 playoff game was just one example of the tensions that existed between them. Number seven, Allen Iverson versus Larry Brown. Allen Iverson was one of the most talented and exciting players of his era, but he was also a notoriously difficult player to coach. In a game against the Detroit Pistons in 2002, Iverson refused to re-enter the game when head coach Larry Brown called his number. Brown later said that Iverson's actions were unacceptable and that he would not tolerate that kind of behavior from any player, no matter how talented. This incident was just one example of the tension that existed between Iverson and Brown. Iverson was a high volume scorer who often took a lot of shots, and Brown was a coach who valued ball movement and team play. The two men clashed over Iverson's playing style, while Brown often pushing Iverson to become a more well-rounded player. Despite their differences, Iverson and Brown had a successful run together. In 2001, they led the Philadelphia 76ers to the NBA Finals, where they lost to the Los Angeles Lakers in five games. But the tensions between them never fully went away, and Iverson was eventually traded to the Denver Nuggets in 2006. Number six, Carmelo Anthony versus Mike D'Antoni. Carmelo Anthony was one of the best scorers in the NBA during his prime, but he was also a player who sometimes clashed with coaches. In 2012, Anthony and New York Knicks head coach Mike D'Antoni had a disagreement over the team's offensive strategy. Anthony wanted to be the primary scorer, while D'Antoni preferred a more balanced approach. Anthony refused to buy the D'Antoni system, and the coach eventually resigned. The incident highlighted a larger issue in Anthony's career his tendency to prioritize individual success over team success. Anthony was a talented player who could score at will, but he often struggled to fit into team systems and make his teams better. Despite his clashes with coaches, Anthony had a successful career. He was a 10-time All-Star and won three Olympic gold medals with Team USA. But his reputation as a difficult player to coach stuck with him throughout his career. In conclusion, Clashes between coaches and players are not uncommon in the NBA. Whether it's a superstar player who wants to take control of a game, a talented but difficult player who clashes with a coach over playing style, or a coach who wants to create a team cultured base. Number five, Dwight Howard versus Stan Van Gundy. Dwight Howard was one of the most dominant big men in the NBA during his prime, but his off-court drama overshadowed his on-court abilities. In 2012, Tensions between Howard and head coach Stan Van Gundy reached a boiling point when reports surfaced that Howard had asked the team management to fire Van Gundy. While Howard initially denied the report, Van Gundy confirmed their veracity in a press conference, creating an awkward and uncomfortable situation for both the coach and the player. Van Gundy's confirmation of the reports only served to further damage his already strained relationship with Howard. The two had clashed in the past over Howard's lack of effort and focus and Van Gundy had publicly criticized Howard for his immaturity and lack of commitment. Howard, on the other hand, felt that Van Gundy was overly critical of him and had not given him the support he needed. Ultimately, the situation proved to be too much for the Orlando Magic, and Van Gundy was let go by the team shortly after the incident. Howard's reputation also took a hit, as many fans and analysts saw his actions as selfish and immature. Number four, Kevin Garnett versus Flip Saunders. 
Kevin Garnett was one of the most intense and competitive players in NBA history, but that same drive and passion could lead to conflict with his coach. In a 2006 game against the Sacramento Kings, Garnett refused to enter the game when Flip Saunders called his name. The incident was a rare display of insubordination from Garnett, who was known for his professionalism and work ethic. Garnett later explained that he was frustrated with the way the team was playing and didn't feel like he could contribute at that moment. Saunders, however, was not pleased with Garnett's behavior and fined him for his actions. The incident created some tension between the two, but they were able to move past it and continue working together. Despite the occasional disagreements, Garnett and Saunders enjoyed a successful working relationship during their time together with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Garnett would go on to win an NBA championship with the Boston Celtics later in his career, cementing his status as one of the greatest power forwards in NBA history. LeBron James vs. David Blatt LeBron James is one of the most talented and successful basketball players of all time, but he has also been involved in his fair share of coach-player conflicts. In his second stint with the Cleveland Cavaliers, James clashed with head coach David Blatt over his coaching style and decisions. In a game against the Atlanta Hawks in 2015, James famously ignored one of Blatt's plays and instead hit a game-winning shot at the buzzer. The move was widely criticized by fans and analysts, who saw it as a sign of disrespect towards Blatt. James, however, defended his decision Thing that he knew what was best for the team at that moment. The incident was just one of many that highlighted the rocky relationship between James and Blatt. James was seen as a de facto coach on the court, often clashed with Blatt's authority. Despite the conflict, the Cavaliers were able to win an NBA championship in 2016 under Blatt's leadership, cementing his place in NBA history. Number 2. Rajon Rondo vs Doc Rivers in a 2012 playoff game against the Atlanta Hawks, Rajon Rondo ignored head coach Doc Rivers' instructions and called his own play during a timeout. Rondo's decision worked out in the end as he hit a game-winning shot, but Rivers was not pleased with the point guard's actions. And coming in at number one, Jimmy Butler versus Eric Spolstra. In a crucial game one of the 2021 NBA Finals against the Milwaukee Bucks, Miami Heat star Jimmy Butler chose to not listen to head coach Eric Spolstra during the game. This led to a heated argument between the two on the sidelines, with Butler later revealing that he felt he needed to take control of the situation in order to give his team a chance to win. While some may see this as a sign of disrespect towards Spolstra's authority as, as a head coach, others view this as a testament to Butler's leadership skills and willingness to do whatever it takes to win. In fact, Butler's decision to take matters into his own hands ultimately paid off as he put on a spectacular performance, finishing the game with 40 points, 11 rebounds, and 13 assists in a 118-108 victory. This incident highlights the complex dynamic between coaches and star players in professional sports. And that's a wrap of our countdown of top eight times NBA players didn't listen to their coaches. While coaches are tasked with leading their teams to victory, ultimately it's the players who are out on the court making split second decisions. And sometimes those decisions don't align with what the coach had in mind. So whether it's a superstar like Kobe Bryant or LeBron James or a role player like Rajon Rondo, one thing is clear, when players go against their coach's wishes, it can make for some unforgettable moments on the court. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more NBA content.